previous video I talked about using these two tools to remove pins from connector and sockets from connectors like this, a D-sub connector. And at the time I said that I really had problems getting this to work. One of my viewers called me out on it and pointed out that I was not using this correctly. I actually knew that before I published the video and I was planning to redo the video, but I accidentally set a schedule and it got published anyway. So now what I'm doing is doing a follow-up to tell you why I now like half this tool and I hate the other half of the tool. So let me first show you the correct way to use the tool to remove a pin, which is pretty much the way that I was showing you for inserting, but I got them backwards. And so you have to push the wire into the, the channel, which I find to be rather fussy. And then once you push it in, you have to kind of work it along until you get it to pop out the other side. So as I say, this is a little bit fussy, and I don't always get it the first time. Uh, I think, you know, because of the way these tools are made, some of them may work better than others. But as you see, I finally got it in there. And then it takes a little bit of uh, pulling on the wire and the tool, as you can see there, to get it to move um, so that I can get into where it's in the D-sub connector. And then I just push it in the first way and then I can push it in the, the rest of the way. And now I should be able to just pull it out like so. And you can see that it does in fact work. But as I say, I find this tool much easier to use and enjoy it much more than this tool. But the part of this tool that I do like and that works quite well is the insertion part of the tool. And so the way that works is if I get this uh, started and then put it in here like so, I can just push it in like that and now it's locked in place. So that's much easier for inserting the pins than the way that I was doing it. Therefore, I've decided that I like half the tool, but I don't like the other half of the tool. So this half of the tool, the extraction part, I'll just throw that away. And then keep these two in the toolbox. So I'll use this for extraction and that for insertion. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.